Hello, my friends. The new book we're going to read today is called A Busy Day at a Farm. Let's see. What do you think this book is going to be about? What do you see on the front cover? I see some animals. What animal is that? That's right, my friends. It's a cow. Hmm. I also see a pig. And I also see a person here. What do you think that person is doing? He looks like a farmer. All right, my friends. Oh, and I also see a duck. Uh, did we read another book recently that was about a farmer and some animals? And there was a cow there and dogs? That's right, my friends. We read a book that was called Click Clack Moo, A Busy Day at the Farm. So now this book is about the same farm. Let's see now what happens on a busy day in the farm. A busy day at the farm by Doreen Cronin. Pictures by Betsy Lewis. A busy, what word is that? It starts with the letter D. The letter D makes sound D, D. Day at the the farm and right here we see two cows drinking coffee or tea I will start reading my book from the left from the left page right here the farm is a very busy place we see all kinds of animals on this page the animals wake up early to get a jump start on their day. See all the animals are yawning like you yawn in the morning. Duck starts his day by reading the paper. He likes to stay on top of the news. We see the duck reading the newspaper here. The pigs like to look their best in the mornings. So what is this pig doing? That's right, he's brushing his hair. And this pig is looking in the mirror. The cows don't do anything until they have had their breakfast. They prefer tea with lemon. So we see right here the cows, they're drinking tea, and there's a teapot right here, and there's some lemon. Exercise is important to Farmer Brown's animals. Each day, duck jogs. So that means the duck is running around and he's wearing his sneakers. The sheep pump iron. Look at the sheep, they're lifting the weights, they're pumping iron. The pigs stick to ballet. So ballet is a kind of dance, so you will see the pigs dancing. After working all day, Duck has a great idea. So look, all the animals on the farm came together. He decides that a picnic will be a perfect way to spend the afternoon. So look, Duck has taken all kinds of fruits. He has watermelons and fruits and a lemonade here. And he wants to spend an afternoon having a picnic. Hmm, good for him. Farmer Brown's looks forward to taking a break with a cool glass of lemonade. But when he opens the fridge, it is empty. Duck! <gasps> Why is the fridge empty, my friends? That's right, because who took all the food? The animals took all the food for the picnic. So now that the Farmer Brown is home and he wants to have some lemonade, is there any lemonade left? No, there's nothing left in the fridge. Was that nice of the animals to take all the food? Not very nice, I think. With Farmer Brown back to work outside, the pigs decide it's time to wash up. They unwind from the stressful day with a nice bubble bath. So look how dirty is the pig and where it's going to go now? To bubble bath. Look at the pig taking a bubble bath. And these pigs are already wearing a towel. Mm -mm -mm. 
At the end of another busy day on the farm, Farmer Brown wonders what all the animals could be up to. Before he goes to bed, Farmer Brown listens outside the barn door. Here he is listening outside the barn door. Dooby doo moo, the cows snore. Fa la 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 ba, the sheep snore. Wonka wonka wonk, the duck snores. Inside the barn, animals are fast asleep. Under their electric blankets, of course. My friends, do you remember how the animals got the electric blankets? That's right, remember they wrote the letter to the farmer Brown and they got some electric blankets in exchange of their, in their typing machine. And that's the end of the book. Let's remember, who are the characters in this book? Remember, the character is a person or an animal in the story. Let's see, what kind of people or animals do we remember from the story? I will go back to the book and I will look at the pictures. I see the cow. Very good, my friends. Now on this page, do you see another animal or animals that you remember? Good job, I see the duck. And who are those? The pigs, very good. What else do you see on this page? I see the sheep. And I see a duck again. And now again we see the pigs. They didn't mention them in the story when we read it, but on this picture we see some other characters. Can you name one animal we haven't talked about yet? Very good, I see the cats. I see the rooster. And I see a goat. Maybe that's a lamb. My friends, can the, can the mice be a character? Yes, they can because they are animals. How about a watermelon? Can watermelon be a character? Let's think about this. Is watermelon an animal? No, it's not. Is watermelon an, a person? No, it's not. Can it be a character then? No, it can't be. Good job, my friends. How about Farmer Brown? Can Farmer Brown be a character? Let's think about this. Is he an animal? No, he is not. Is he a person? Yes, he is. Good job, my friends. So that means Farmer Brown is a character in the book. Now we already talked about the pigs. How about the electric blankets? Are electric blankets a character? No, they're not, my friends, because they're not a person or they're not an animal. How about the barn? Is barn a character? No, barn could be a setting because this is where the, the events are happening. The barn is a setting. How about the farm? Is farm a character? Is farm an animal? No, it's not an animal. Is farm a person? No, it's not. A farm is a place. So that means the farm is a setting, the place where the events are happening. All right, my friends, and this is it for today. Thank you for listening. I will see you next time. Goodbye.